Western Supermare on the West Coast. A spike in coronavirus cases here forced the local hospital to close on Monday. From today, anyone in close contact with someone who's been infected will be put into quarantine for up to two weeks if they're found by the new test and trace system. Like detectives, the NHS clinician from NHS Test and Trace and the person who's tested positive work together to identify the possible movements of the virus. If you are contacted by NHS Test and Trace instructing you to isolate, you must. It is your civic duty. To prepare, the government has hired 25,000 contact tracers, including Sue, an occupational nurse from Oxford. I'm excited to look forward to the challenges. Um, I think daunted is the wrong word to use. I think it's um, just really uh, an anticipation of an opportunity um, to be doing something that's quite unique. As the name suggests, the system starts with testing. If you have symptoms and test positive, you'll get a call from a contact tracer. They'll ask you for the names and numbers of the people you've been in contact with over the last seven days. You'll get a text or an email. They'll then have to log on to the NHS Test and Trace website to find out what to do. If the contact has been recent, they may have to isolate for up to 14 days. There'll also be email alerts, which will look like this. Although, if you want to ignore them, you can because right now there are no sanctions for breaking quarantine. Volunteer contact tracer Dr Bing Jones says that could work as long as the government gets its message right. Almost everybody is really decent and they really do want to do this. But the fact is that it's a really complicated chain and it needs to be got right at every single point. The chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So the government needs to get the messaging really, really clear. In Western Supermare, people are pleased but wary. I think if it's going to keep everybody safe and it leads us to live a more normal life for those who haven't been affected, then yeah, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't bother me at all. And why is that? Uh, because I've got nothing to hide. You know, as, as we've seen in the past, that uh, information does tend to, to go into various places and that, that's a bit of a worry. This is what we want to get back to. And the government promises that test and trace is how we can do it. But to make it work, we'll once again need to resist the urge to go out. Brother Manthorpe, Sky News.